All right, guys, here's a quick little uh, go-to for optimizing your uh, Adobe Acrobat or Adobe Reader, whatever you're uh, for studying or whatever. But uh, you know, the reason I use Adobe Reader or Acrobat is because sometimes you got those PDF files that uh, don't open properly in PDF Exchange or Nitro PDF. And, uh, you know, so I just go with the you know, world standard Adobe, even though it's got all kinds of problems but uh, so what you can do is you can go to edit preferences and we'll start off at the uh, documents here you'll want to hit this check mark box here put that in restore last view settings when reopening documents that way when you open it it goes right back to the page that you had it on and then you'll want to uh, change this this was originally at five and the maximum you can do is ten I mean I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, so I wanted to put it up pretty darn high, but I uh, won't let me. 10 is the max, so put it at 10 that way. Um, at least the last 10 documents you've seen, you'll uh, you'll be able to go back and it'll open it up right where you left off. Um, another important thing, let's see here, for page display. It starts off with automatic, but um, I definitely prefer the uh, single page continuous, which is like, uh, I'll show you, it's like scrolling like this, so instead of having, normally it would skip from one page to the next, I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, so like now, it skips from one page to the next, so sometimes, I mean this is with smaller pages, but with larger pages it's kind of goofy scrolling between them, if, uh, if you have it on that, so. I prefer to be able to see the next page as I'm scrolling like this. So you can make that setting. That's a good setting right there. And then also I have the default zoom at 75% because I like to be able to see what's going in as soon as I open it and then I come and zoom in where I want. Um, another important thing is for some reason it comes in on custom resolution, uh, but uh, I prefer to use that system setting there. Uh, some, for some reason the text always looks better. You can put in that uh, use smooth zooming if you like. Uh, I have mine set the smooth text for a monitor and you can change yours to whatever you have. It comes at none but it really looks like, I mean you kinda need to set it for one of them. So go ahead and set that as well. Um, and then you can go down to accessibility and I do this because it's because like usually the uh, PDFs that you open they come with uh, settings, uh, default settings, and even though you have, that's so goofy, so even though you have your own default settings right here, whatever, like whoever creates the PDF can have the default settings in the PDF properties, so I'll show you with that, it's like file properties of this PDF, and you can see that I'm allowed, I can like set up the initial view of this PDF, and whenever I make them, I try to set it at default so that everyone gets to choose whatever they want, it opens up like that, but some people when they make them, they don't know what they're doing, or they want it to open up a particular way, and uh, so it will open that way. It, the, the settings for the individual PDF file override your default settings, and we can go into accessibility and help that somewhat by uh, having the single page continuous, have it override the page display, and then setting the 75% there. Um, so that helps. And um, I think that's about it. But I mean, those are some pretty key things to make it a lot easier to use. Uh, I guess that's it. Do that and you'll be happier using this. I mean, keep in mind that when you're using it, you can this right here will come out and it doesn't need to be that wide but uh, you close this by clicking on another cool thing is to be able to use the F8 and uh, get rid of that so if you can get rid of some screen real estate by pressing the F8 button on your keyboard and there's probably a key for this too I don't know what it is but F8 usually works pretty well because I'm sitting here I like to have the, as much screen real estate as possible and then press the F8 if I want to do something which I really don't usually want to maybe I want to zoom in and then press F8 to get out of it. Oh, there was one other thing. So edit preferences. Um, I think it was reading. And you'll want to read and it's actually it's up to you. So if you have it set, the default is set that uh, only read the currently for larger documents, only read the current visible page and have it set at 50. 
Um, that makes that makes it so that when Adobe opens up the maximum pages that it'll read, or like when you open up a file, the maximum number of pages that it'll read is 50. Um, but I got time to wait for it to open. I'd rather it work really smoothly when I'm using the when I, once it's open. So I have it spend all its time at the beginning by choosing read the entire document. And so that when, every time I open it, it might take a little bit longer to open, but it will read the whole document so that once it's open, I got some smoothness um, using that. And uh, this is, yeah, I'm for a reading order from document Oops. so that you can uh, do that. Uh, yeah, now that's it. So yeah, use the F8 to get rid of this little top part here, which is, you know, gets in the way a lot. But, and that new, oh, you haven't even seen it yet, but the new one has this little sign bar that comes across the top, and you can click that green bar to get rid of that. That is super annoying. And if you have one of these things over here that's open, you can kind of just click it, and it'll go away. You need to click that one. You can click the same thing to get rid of it. So, I mean, the comment bar, you can even make comments, too. I mean, there's, I don't use comments on here because I use OneNote, but, uh, and I don't really even take notes, but uh, you, you could comment on here and, and uh, do that stuff. But uh, yeah, so click whatever one's open to, to close it, and then you can obviously you can customize stuff. And F8 will get you get rid of that, and F8 will bring it right back on there. So uh, all right, enjoy reading your PDFs and studying and memorizing stuff. Uh, see y'all later.